Before we start modifying behavior packs, let's have a look around and start to understand how they're laid out. So let's talk about the anatomy of the behavior pack. We're going to focus on entity behaviors for now. So in this behavior pack, you can see we've got all these different behaviors. Let's go ahead and look at the zombies behavior by going into the entities folder and then opening the zombie.json file. So you're going to see a few things here. Well, you're going to see a lot of things here. But let's break this down into uh, some very specific areas that we want to focus on. So you'll see here at the top, it is, uh, it's, it's got an open curly brace, Minecraft entity, and then you see this component groups on line 5 for the zombie. And your line numbers may change depending on uh, how, how this file has changed over time. But you could find the components group section. Okay, this section is going from here to here. Component groups are a way of grouping a bunch of different attributes or components of the mob and being able to turn those on and off. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. But the, the next section is the components section. This is the section that has all of the information and attributes about the behavior of the mob at all times. Right, so it's going to have uh, definitions about how it, how it behaves when it's looking around, if it decides to attack something, can it swim? What kind of damage does it deliver? The, the health that it starts with? All those things are going to be defined as components that are these full-time attributes of the entity. And then we have an events section. Events are things that are triggered by certain events happening inside the game. So for instance, if an entity is being spawned, that's an event. So you can see here, the zombie, when it's spawned, will decide whether or not it is an adult or a baby. So you could see there's a randomization based on a certain weight. It's weighted heavier towards being spawned as an adult. That's why you'll notice sometimes when you're spawning zombies, occasionally you'll get a zombie baby because there's a percentage there that that might happen. So let's take a look at that. So now we've got our three main sections of, of the behavior. We have our component groups, our components, and the events. So think about this, the, the components are something that you're going to find in pretty much every single entity. You're not always going to find component groups and events. It just depends on whether or not that entity has certain changes that need to happen to it throughout the game. So for instance, if you're going to tame something or ride something or, or something is going to go from a baby to an adult, those kind of changes that happen in game those are going to be things that happen through events, which also have component groups. So those are the three main sections of a behavior pack. So what we're going to do is go into these in a little more detail in the following videos so you can understand it a little better. But I just want you to know that these are the three main areas that we're going to be working on. So as you're navigating, you'll know what you're looking for and what you're looking at.